So one of my biggest pet peeves in the whole world is when sales reps are complete and total hypocrites. So let me show you what I mean by that. You might find this funny. Yeah, hello. Eh? Hey, uh, hi, uh, Mr. Mechanic. Uh, so my customer said that they were having problems with the lug nuts on their scissor lift. Uh-huh, and, and they said you went out there today, but when you showed up, you just looked at the unit and said, yeah, you don't have the right tools for the job, and you left? Yeah, no, I, I went by the job site, and uh, what they needed was they needed a torque wrench. And uh, unfortunately, all I had was a, a regular wrench. I, I don't own any torque wrenches. A, a good torque wrench will cost you like 300, 600, 800 bucks. Like good torque wrenches aren't cheap. I just don't own a torque wrench, so I couldn't fix their unit. So I went about my day, but thanks for calling. How do you not have the right tools for the job? That's just stupid. Hey, service manager. Yeah, listen, I, I was just calling service tech and service tech said that he went out to the job site, but he couldn't fix the unit because he didn't have the right tools for the job. Why do you even hire guys that don't have the right tools for the job? Like, are they not committed to doing a good job? Who, why wouldn't they have a torque wrench? So I know a lot of you reps out there right now are going, oh, I would have called my service manager. I would have called my branch manager. I would have called my sales manager. I would have called everybody in the company if we had service techs out there that didn't have the right tools for the job. And you know what? Maybe you'd be right. But then you got to look at yourself and not be a hypocrite. How many of you don't have the right tools for the job. So let me explain. As I go out, it blows my mind how many sales reps I jump in with and they say, oh yeah, you know, if, if it's a 3-0 man door, that scissor lift will fit through there just fine because it's only 32 inches and a 3-0 man door is 36 inches. You got a couple inches on each side, it'll fit just fine. They send the piece of equipment out and guess what ends up happening? With all the hardware on the door and with all the stuff on it and with the door fixtures in the door jam, guess what? The scissor lift doesn't fit and the customer's all mad. And rather than the sales reps saying, oh, I admit I don't have the right tools to do it, the sales reps aren't going out and they're not buying a laser. Yeah, Boom. sit there and put a laser up and even have special red glasses so you can see the laser during the daylight as you're out there sizing up to see what size scissor lift, what size boom lift, what size piece of equipment they need. Not only that, but it blows my mind how many sales reps show up to the branch and they ask their sales manager or branch manager, hey, can I have a hard hat and vest? And they get the stupid white hard hat and they get the stupid basic vest and they go out there. Go invest in a cool hard hat. Quit being a lame-o. Get something that makes you stand out and as a conversation starter. Don't try and just take the free stuff that the company gives you because you're not willing to invest in your trade. If you are a professional salesman and you are in the rental industry, invest in you. I strongly recommend go out and get yourself apps on your phone that help you manage your customer base. If your company doesn't have Salesforce or have something, go out and get yourself RepMove. Go out and get yourself some other application on your phone that helps you better manage your accounts, better take care of your accounts, and help you be more efficient. Ultimately, it puts more money in your pocket. Why don't you wanna be the best you can be? I keep a really slick notepad, uh, Remarkable. And it's funny to me, the number of people that say to me, they're like, oh, well, maybe my company will buy you Remarkable. No, they're expensive. These are like six, 700 bucks. Why do I own one? Because I believe in investing in me. I believe in investing that when I sit down with a customer and they start telling me something important, I've got a place to write it down. Why aren't you investing in your trade as a sales rep? Why don't you have a Hilti laser? Why don't you have a cool hard app? Why don't you have rep move or some other application? Why don't you have cam card where you can scan in your cards and build them into your phone? Why aren't you taking that 50, 60, $80 for your whole career or even $20 a month or whatever it is 
to invest in you. Be the absolute best that you can be. So I throw this out here because here's the biggest thing. You might wanna pull down your visor. You might wanna look in the mirror. And rather than looking at all the things your company doesn't do for you, that your sales manager doesn't do for you, all the fleet you don't have, you might wanna ask yourself, have you been investing in you and are you the best version of the sales rep for your company, for your customers? Are you going out and bringing the most value to the market? Because I'll tell you what people pay for, value. What could you do to up your game to make sure that when someone calls a sales rep, you're the top guy in the marketplace? I hope that helps. I appreciate you watching. Do me a huge favor. Comment below. I agree. I disagree. He's crazy. Any of those are fine and probably honestly true. If there's a day I can come out and help you and your sales team, contact me. Send me a direct message. I'd love to help you out. I'd love to help your sales team be the absolute best in the industry. I got a lot of tricks up my sleeve that'll help your guys and gals dominate the market. I appreciate you all. Thanks for watching and have a great day.